what do we do with Denzel Mims? I mean, really, what do we do with Denzel Mims? He had a horrible year last year. Then he works his tail off. And now that 6-3, 4-3 lunatic of an athlete clearly has an opportunity to be something special in this league. And if you say he doesn't, you're being ridiculous because one bad, horrible season last year does not define him. If you look at the rest of his career, everything points to him being a good receiver. I'm not going to go crazy over one preseason game, but it's not just who he did it against and he didn't do it against ones or this or that. It's the ability. It's the athletic ability, the jumping, the hands, the contested catches, the way he plays. He's good. Do I blame the coaching staff? You can't. We got three receivers that have to be ahead of him, and Berrios has a certain role that's specific that doesn't involve Denzel Mims. Now, that doesn't mean Denzel Mims can't play or wouldn't never have an opportunity. Corey Davis got hurt for a lot of games last year. Corey Davis goes down. Denzel Mims steps right in. That's how I see it. Denzel Mims takes that role. The problem is he wants more, and who could blame him? I mean, he's going into year three. The guy wants to play, wants to win himself a big contract. Can't blame him for that. But to be fair, you have to, as, if, as much as you love Denzel Mims, understand he kind of put himself in this situation. I mean, if he would have worked as hard last year, even after he was sick, if he would have worked hard on those plays, and if he would have worked harder and showed what he's showing now, Maybe we don't feel we have to take a receiver with the 10 pick in the draft, but we moved on and we did because we couldn't rely on him. And I'm not even saying it's his fault. Maybe it really was sickness that led to that season. It is what it is at this point. I love the kid. I wish we had a spot for him. I wish we could play him more. I hope we find a way to keep him. I really do. I don't want to see him shine for another team. I want him to shine for us. I wish he could wait one more year because I think there's a potential there he could replace Corey Davis and we can get rid of that salary or not even replace Corey Davis because Corey Davis is not that expensive, but just be stacked at the wide receiver, wide receiver position. It would be great, but that's not the case. Right now, we're not able to give him a home as far as playing. We can give him a spot on the roster, but he's going to have to be okay with waiting in the wings in case somebody gets hurt. Do we trade him? Only if we get good trade value. We can't give him away for a sixth or a seventh pick and then watch him put up a thousand yards somewhere else. I can't. You know, and I know you can't either. We'll go crazy. We'll never hear the end of it. So what do we do? What do we do? Tell me in the comments. And watch this next video about Michael Clemens. You might like it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't hurt you.